Good day, everyone. Um, my presentation today is about uh, dense medium separation, and it's quite an important issue within a, um, a flow sheet of a mineral processor because if you think of it, density can, it can be quite one of the cheaper properties to use. I say cheap in terms of running the plant for the ton that you treat to separate um, properties based on their density, and it's often quite well used in the coal industry, uh, iron ore industry, the diamond industry, um, uh, quite a few others, but I will get into more detail on that. Now, um, dense medium separation is based on a lot of work uh, done over the years, and, and the best exponent of that to give you an idea of the um, overall design would be, um, I just want to show you, is the um, Dutch State Mines Manual. This is a, a, a manual uh, done in about the 1950s. You can see it's about 145 pages. It, it goes into all sorts of detail on how to set up a dense medium uh, separation um, plant, um, all the screens, etc., and the dense medium separation device as such. M focus on cyclones, but the rest is quite relevant uh, uh, to you if you use other separation devices. Now, uh, once again, uh, where you can get it is um, I put all the stuff that I make available to you guys in, in this folder on Google Drive, and you will see it there. It's the DSM manual. It's the Dutch State Mines uh, manual. You can also get, of course, the mass balance predictor over a, um, a, a, a cyclone, over a screen. I've got some um, lead, I'm going to put it, um, guidelines to help you to initiate a design. It's often just a very good guess based on industry experience and the vibrating screens manufacturers manual. You can download all of this. It's available to you. You can use it as you please. Um, as once again, with all this stuff, these are guidelines, as I mu must add. So please use it uh, with caution. It is to give you a good initial um, guess and um, design. And, um, you know, when you interact with your vendors or the various pieces of equipment like screens and DMS cyclones and all this, the like that you can um, speak with authority with your vendor and basically to help you in your design. That's why I give this stuff out and an operation installation of your plant. Um, then, um, as I said, you can get it on my the, the Google Drive and the way I give you access to it is um, you can go into the um, uh, uh, um, my, my website or landing page here. You just go to offer.ndme-inc.com. You put in your name and email address and um, you can access all those folders that I've showed. And of course, you also get immediately access to, as a bonus, to the uh, learner area that you can just go through the various models. And the reason I also give get the Excel um, uh, uh, sorry, get um, get your email addresses so that I can notify you of new things and new models as I grow my uh, website and put uh, new things in there for you. Anyway, okay, so back to the DMS cyclones or dense medium separation. It's typically to separate uh, uh, material from waste uh, due to density differential. It's a 0.1 SG, referring to specific gravity difference. Um, for the plus four material uh, typically, and then uh, larger for the fine material. Now, if you think of it, coal is, is actually not a really clearly defined um, mineral species um, because coal is really petrified wood. But it's because the way it was geologically deposited with uh, rocks and stuff like that, you've got to mix it. And, and essentially, when, when you go to dense medium separation, in the, in the case, what you're looking for here is the coal or the petrified coal uh, floats and the junk sinks and you separate it like that. In the case of diamonds, the valuable diamond sinks and the, the gang, which is typically country rock or about an SG of 2.7, goes to float. So it's just the other way around. Um, iron ore, it's, it's the same way as coal. Uh, you can do this in, in platinum for upgrading, and I'll come da da to that now. Um, uh, here in South Africa, um, they use a dense medium cyclone to separate um, the valuable, uh, what shall I say, material that contain, contains the rich veins of platinum from the country rock. So it's almost a way to upgrade the material before doing, taking it to flotation. That's where they can use it. Um, then also pre-concentration of metalliferous ores uh, associated with light country rock. Um, it's used to, to reduce transport costs, etc. So what you typically often would do is you'd put a, a DMS plant or plant like this 
close to the mining source, you upgrade it so you've got a high value material that you can transport to your flotation plants, etc., which might be at a central uh, location. Um, as I said, uh, in diamonds, they use it as well. Um, the Russians have got a different diamond processing flow sheet. What they typically do is they mill it or, or crush it and then continually send it in, in a recirculating load uh, through a high capacity X-ray machine that uh, targets the um, diamonds due to the unique fluorescence. A, let's call it more South African based design, uh, typically would be you put it through a DMS uh, cyclone, you've got a concentrate and then you put that concentrate uh, through a plant which has got x-ray machines in it um, and as I said to you um, you can use DMS uh, also to separate high value uh, like coal and iron ore is often used to separate the, the gang from the material now the way you could view it is just to show you what it is that you just to conceptually and I'm using coal here as an example that your coal often runs in seams and then in the coal there's junk and there's often country rock over there that also goes into a DMS plant or dense medium separation plant that looks something like that. And once it goes through the plant and all that, I'll show you the flow sheet now, uh, just to give you an idea of the overall flow sheet, how, what it looks like, you would typically get the coal going to the floats and the discard going to the sinks. As I've said before, and in most of the other applications, it's the other way around, your heavier stuff tends to be uh, on the sinks, uh, well, it will be on the sinks, but is your value then sits here and your discard there, whereas in coal, it's the reverse. Just to give you an idea of what the flow sheet is, you, it's, uh, it's often for me, it's a quite a strange thing to see that massive plant and all the action in terms of valuable separation either happens in a DMS cyclone or other devices. I will, I'll come to what those devices are. It can be Drew Boys, Dwemco drums, etc. But all the rest of the circuit is actually to recover your medium. So what you do is you, you, you take, um, often it's two types of medium. You either can use magnetite or ferrous silicon. Now magnetite is used in the coal industry. So you take magnetite that's milled and you mix it with water. So then the density of that medium is a, somewhere between the specific gravity of water and that of the magnetite. And that's how you create a dense medium. And the reason you use ma magnetite or ferrous silicon is because they're magnetic. Because what you do is you look at this whole circuit, it's quite ingenious, that the material goes over a float drain and rinse screen. Your medium dra uh, drains through, so you try and recover most of your um, magnetite, in this case of coal, and then you, you wash it so then you've got a dilute circuit. But what you do then is you put it through a magnetic separator to send the high concentration ma magnets, magnetite here back to the correct medium circuit and use water addition to control uh, the density going into the DMS cyclone itself. The setup of all these like tanks and stuff and the uh, screens and the, um, and the feed boxes is, uh, is often the, the Dutch State Mines manual, which I showed you earlier how to get, gives you a good introduction of, of how to do initial first design or first pass design, at least for it. Um, a lot of the um, experts in these um, fields or, or engineering houses have got their own nuances and tweaks, for, tweaks from the Dutch State Mines Manual, but the Dutch State Mines Manual is a good basis on which to start, um, I might add. And even the engineering houses <laughs> base their design a lot on that anyway. Um, as I've mentioned, that um, the density separation happens in a couple of um, commodities, and not limited to what I've got here, but coal being one, chrome, uh, you can use diamond, magnemies, iron ore, copper, cobalt, tin, and nickel. And uh, the, as you can see, ferrous silicon is often the medi medium here. What I need to also mention is that not all ferrous silicon is created equal. There's different grades of it, i.e. finenesses, um, particle shape. If you go to super high densities, uh, trying to cut it about 3.8 or higher at 4, and often in iron ore, ore 4.2, you need to use special um, uh, ferrous silicon that's got um, spherical um, shape. Um, and uh, we can get into the detail that with that if you wish. Um, you can put comments in the, in the uh, comment section of this uh, video. And if you want to know about more about the ferrous silicon, I will address it there for you. Um, then the type of separation devices you get, you get quite a number of them. 
uh, you get typically you can get the Wemco drum and the Drew Boy, uh, the Tesco bath or the Daniels bath. Essentially, these are used more for the plus 10 millimeter. And, I'll, uh, and the reason is all these ones here at the top, as you can see, are actually centrifugal devices. I, what I mean is because they flow into a device here and they go tangentially, it creates its own gravitational field for separation. So it's a bit of a different case uh, where here we, you can separate smaller particles. These are very good devices, the Wemco drums, the Drew Boys, the Daniels bath and the Tesco baths for um, larger particles and um, so and and the way it really works is it's basically a settling bath that it it slowly slowly picks up the particles and throws it into a another channel where it gets washed out so it's more a, a um, gives a bit more residence time a couple of minutes whereas in these devices you've got about three seconds of residence time so you can imagine that you will need the high uh, intensity gravitational field that's induced there. Um, the dense medium cyclone is probably the workhorse of this type of um, separation device and that's what the Dutch State Mines is based on. There are the newer three product cyclones uh, where you can uh, basically separate and, and it's more for a coal industry where you've got a an export coal or high quality coal, a middling type coal which you can use for often for local power stations also and the like and then your discard uh, stream over there now when you design and trying to infer the um, performance that you could get from a um, uh, for your material uh, uh, from a dense medium separation you typically do a, what they call a washability curve now what I'm doing here is I'm showing you for coal what it looks like um, and uh, what you typically would do is you would have a, a, a liquid of a higher density like a 1.5 and you put your part your coal in there and you take your sinks off and then what you do is you um, you, you, you slowly um, increase the density of this so that you float more and more material that your sinks remain and and then each of these piece of materials here you can assess the um, uh, properties um, in coal they often look at ash and the CV which is the calorific value and then what you do is you basically generate a washability curve and you can use different properties here I've got the mass yield uh, that you would go as you would increase the cut density you would be able to get more and more material basically floating and you would assess the ash quality and then you would say okay if I want to target an ash of 16% uh, for example uh, I would be cutting at a density of about slightly higher than 1.5 and I would get a yield of about 40% by mass so that's how you would use the washability curve now you can do the same uh, for other materials and that but what they do is they use more modern technology uh, for um, things like iron ore because to get a liquid <laughs> that, that has a, de a density of four is very difficult so what they do is they uh, with modern technology they can put it on a, on a belt they scan the image of the of the each rock and they use a couple of thousand rocks and they weigh each rock individual it's a little bit of robotics so anyway you can even generate a washability curve like that with modern uh, technology I just thought I'd give you a taste um, of uh, what dense medium separation is all about that there's it is quite a, um, a nice technology to use um, to, to get your uh, separation of material out at a low cost. So thank you.